Um, and I guess over the last couple of years, my teaching has gone more towards, you know, meditation is meditation and will help an infinite number of woes you might have. But, you know, as individual teachers and um, just people in the world, it helps to pick a certain tack to go down. So my, mine is the alcohol tack, and I just find that the more I do that, the more, I guess, response I get, and the more I'm able to talk to people directly. So me answering the need of the time, and I, who's to say how long this time may last, but presenting the benefits of meditation through that lens of how it can help you stop drinking and that's that's from from any 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 amount of drinking so when I was a drinker I wasn't a I didn't drink every day I have drunk every day in the past but I was more of a binge drinker at the weekend and rather than thinking about drinking as this binary thing of I'm a normal drinker or I'm an alcoholic thinking about it more as in do I get the benefits from alcohol that I signed up for you know if I'm having a glass of wine, only one glass of wine in the evening, is that actually relaxing me? If I have two glasses, is it affecting my sleep? What my general energy levels like? And then just translating my, you know, basic human experience into allowing other people to see meditation through that lens of this is a way, this is a current way that you use to relax, which is a glass of wine. Here's another way, which is much cheaper will make you will actually deliver the benefits you think you're getting from that glass of wine um and yeah allow you to be more healthy and follow you know have enough time and energy to follow up those other things in your life that you want to do so answering the needs of the time in a rambly <laughs> kind of way is it will be meditation for many years to come for me because i don't think that's going away i like to quote this stat that um what is it, the, the World Health Organization called stress, the, the health ec epidemic of the 21st century. This is pre-COVID <laughs> that they said that. But, you know, that's not going away. It would e it's even got worse, if anything. So answering that need and then, yeah, continuing to do it through whatever ways seem relevant at the time for me, at, which at the moment is through this alcohol lens. Thank you.